Leadership, advocacy, communication. Those are three words you're going to hear an awful lot of today and for the next three days. And they're very important words. And the reason they are is because those are the words that are going to help you in your leadership to build the relationships that you use, to build the great things you do back in your component network, to build the connections that Jeff talks about that's so important as the theme of our 2012 convention here in D.C., and that really are the strength of what we do as we serve our profession. Well, Hill today, understand you're not advocating just for your industry. You're not advocating just for good designs and standards. You're advocating on behalf of every one of those young people. The torch will be passed to them someday, and they're going to ask us that question. So architects, are you ready? Are you ready to go to Capitol Hill to talk about what's important to your industry? But more importantly, are you ready to go to Capitol Hill and talk about what we could be? That's the charge. That's your mission. Don't get bogged down in the details because it's so much bigger than that. It's about who we are. It's about how we build. It's about whether we build for the short term or whether we build for the long term. It's a simple task. Folks, this, this time, this time in our country is where history and hope meet. Which path are you going to take? Get engaged. Get to the table. Otherwise, your lunch. Thank you. Explain how transportation impacts the neighborhoods in your district and state, and how preserving historic facilities, providing for bikes, providing for pedestrians, and offering people a mix of options can create the kind of communities in which we all want to live, work, and play. Well, if you ever plan to move to West, uh, so proud that I have just the greatest group of architects uh, from the Tampa Bay area here. I rely on them uh, for policy making when it comes to how we build the modern buildings of today and the future, how we conserve energy. I serve on the Energy and Commerce Committee and, and really how we create jobs throughout the community. Uh, I really appreciate everything they're doing on advocacy and fighting for every job and every dollar for my community.